This is Pokemon's newest collector's chest for 2024, and it's filled with packs from the hottest new sets. But how does it compare to the previous collector's chests? What's up everybody, Rhino here, and today I'm going to be opening up 5 different collector's chests, including this one that just released in July. And on my last chest, I actually have a chance of getting a $900 card! Let's go! So this is our newest collector's chest, it came out over the 4th of July weekend, and it comes with 2 foil cards and 6 booster packs, along with a bunch of other goodies. Nothing more to do than just tear right into it. So inside this new lunchbox tin we have... A couple of promo cards here, looks like the Screamtail and Iron Valiant, both from Temporal Forces and both the Cosmo Hollow versions, and we get some wonderful coins that come with each of those. Looks like there's our code card on the back side, enjoy that. We also get a series of Pokemon stickers. Looks like quite a few of the same types of stickers, featuring Iron Thorns and Iron Valiant. Uh, looks like we've got Screamtail and Fluttermane as well, so all of those guys in there, and a card portfolio, one of the cheap card portfolios that kind of uh, they release with all of the new special value packs, so those can go back in there. And of course the biggest reason that we get these tins, it's our booster packs, and this box comes with six booster packs. And they are... We've got Obsidian Flames, one Paradox Rift, two Temporal Forces, and two Twilight Masquerades, so... We'll start with the oldest pack first, and it happens to be one that I've already finished. There's your code card, and a Water Energy. I would love to see another Charizard, though. That is still a very valuable card and continuing to grow in value. And I get some kind of hit out of our first pack. I've had some pretty good luck in early packs. A Gloom Art card right off the bat. That is beautiful. Love seeing the artwork here. And this is just a nice card in general. A great first hit to start the video off on. Now let's go ahead and move on to our second pack of this tin. That is Paradox Rift. There's the code. And another water energy. Don't have many left in Paradox Rift. But if I can get one of the ones I'm missing, I'm going to be a happy camper. We've got Toad School. Knackley. And my loading. Nothing in here. Next pack is Temporal Forces. These are getting tougher for me to open in my old age. There's your code. No water this time, we got Darkness Energy. As Temporal Forces come through with a big hit. Well, we've got a Maximum Belt Ace spec. That's a great card. Along with that, we've got the Pit of and a Miraidon. So nothing too big in there. But when you take the maximum belt at $4.50 and you combine it with this Buddy Buddy Poffin, which is still hanging on to about a $2 value, we're sitting pretty right now. We've got close to uh, $11 worth of cards, and we're three packs in. And this was a $30 box, so uh, can I make my money pack on the first tin? It's been going good so far. Grass energy this time. What's the hit from Temporal number two? Are we lucky enough to get another hit? We got the Slugma, Arbok, nope. and a Meg Cargo. So nothing in that second pack. Our last two packs are Twilight Masquerade, and Twilight Masquerade is just the hottest set. I've been able to pull the Greninja, the Carmine. Um, I am still looking for the Eevee SIR, as well as, hey, another water energy, as well as or Saluna. I could get Perrin too, I'd be really happy with, with any of the SIRs, honestly. Those are the ones that I'm missing. We've got Venipede, Glimit, so no uh, no art card in this one, and Sinistra. So this chest has had a couple of hits in it, uh, but we haven't gotten anything the last couple of packs. Can we pull something from our final Twilight Masquerade? Code. Grass energy. It's all been water, grass, and one darkness in there. What can we get out of the last pack? Last pack magic from this tin. We've got a Diplin of Old Beats, Darmanitan, and a Chandelure. So nothing big out of those last packs. Twilight Masquerade did not come through for me. But overall, some decent hits from this tin. The Gloom, the Maximum Belt, those are really cool. And the Buddy Buddy Poffin, you know, it's always good to get those cards that are super playable and people are looking for. So I'll set these off to the side and 
that's it for this collector's chest. Let's move on to the next one. This Charizard chest was released late in 2023 around the holiday season. Uh, it was super popular when it first came out. Let's tear it open. And when we open this one, we'll find that we have the Paldean starters with Meowth, Skirata, Coquavel, and Skeledurge, along with a uh, Charizard coin there. Uh, there's the code card, if anybody would like that. It also comes with stickers and a binder and six booster packs, much like all of the other ones. I can get that out of here. The stickers this time, though, feature those starters. You've got uh, stickers of all the starters, and then, of course, you've got your cool Charizard stickers here, so those are pretty neat. There is a mini folio card binder in here. Again, I don't really use those, but they are a feature of the chest. So putting everything back in there. So the six packs in this chest are two Paradox Rift. We've got two Obsidian Flames and we've got two Paldea Evolve. Now I am done with Obsidian Flames, like I said, and I'm nearly done with Paradox Rift. I'm gonna open those first Paldea Evolve though. That is a set that is coming back into popularity. It is a hot set right now. I'm gonna save those ones. The last out of here. There's the code. And there's the energy, something besides water or grass. Let's see if we can get a hit out of Paradox Rift. Not much I have left, like I said before. You mask, lip bug. We've got a Hoopa EX, so that is an EX card. Not worth a ton of value, but uh, it is a hit and it's a good way to start off this tin. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, we are trying to make our way up to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the summer. I'd really appreciate your support in that. Here's your code card. And there is a water energy. And in this pack, we get a Slitherwing reverse, a Gliger reverse, and a Zatu. So really nothing. We open Obsidian Flames for fun and to try to find some uh, neat hits in here. The biggest hits are still the Charizards. It'd be fun to get a Charizard from the Charizard tin. That would make a lot of sense. No fire energies yet, but we did get a metal energy. A Vengeful Punch, a Team Star Grunt. Nope. And Caesar again. We had that last time. One more shot for Obsidian Flames here. Someday I'll learn how to open up packs correctly, but uh, apparently I can't do it right now. Fighting energy. We've got the Bunnelby Reverse, Drampa, and Thunderous. Obsidian Flames is not loving me right now. We do still have two Paldea Evolved packs though, and there are some wonderful art cards in Paldea Evolved. This set is just super popular right now. The Magikarp is still going through the roof. People are hunting for Iano, and all sorts of IRs from this set are becoming big hunt cards. But can we pull one of those IRs right here? Corviknight, Rangaroo. Obama Snow, nope. and Weavile. Nothing there. This has been one heck of a dry pack. We could hit something big out of the last pack, though. This, uh... This has been rough. Still no fire energies. I wonder if we'll get one this video. McCrow? Relor? Wiggly Tough? That is a tough way to end this tin. Geez, the only hit we got out of the entire tin was Hoopa. Wow. Now we've still got the Arceus tin at the end, which has a possibility of having some evolving skies in it, where I could find myself getting an $800 Moonbreon card. But for now, we're going to be opening up this uh, Coridon Miridon tin. This one came out in early 2023. And uh, we're going to see what we get out of this. So inside this early 2023 tin, we get the same Paldean starters, except this time it's Fue Coco. Uh, Sprigatito and Quaxley along with a Coridon coin in this one. And then uh, we have six packs once again, as well as a small card binder and a bunch of stickers. Stickers featuring our Paldean starters and then Coridon and Miridon. So this was that early 2023 set that was, you know, riding the coattails of the recent release of Scarlet and Violet. Everybody was all about Scarlet and Violet, and this was the first tin of that generation. So, what are our six packs this time? Well, as I said, we were just starting the Scarlet and Violet era, so it makes sense that we have two Scarlet and Violet packs. We also have two Paldea Evolved packs. Those are great. And two Silver Tempest packs. So they did have to reach back into the era of uh, Sword and Shield in order to fill out this tin. 
Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I finished Scarlet and Violet. I even released a binder video all about it. I'll link it up in the corner here. But uh, that was a fun set to complete. Not a ton of super valuable cards in Scarlet and Violet, a handful. But uh, if you are looking for a set to try to complete on your own, Scarlet and Violet might be the one for you. It's not terribly hard to complete. The packs are still um, all over the place. You'll be able to find them. And you buy singles are pretty cheap. Love seeing this one. This is a gold lighting energy. Gold cards are super popular. Just the sparkle and the shine of them. People love to see them. Skeledurge, you're a great card, but I'm going to just sit here and bask in the glory of this gold and fighting energy. It's worth about $3.50, so that's a great way to start off this tin. We've been getting some decent cards from the first packs on these different collector's chests. Can we continue the trend, though, by getting another hit in pack number two? Strange to see the white code cards on these because uh, they stopped doing the code card trick in Scarlet and Violet era. So, code cards don't mean anything. The code card colors don't mean anything. When it comes to Scarlet and Violet era packs, we've got a Cacturn, a Fidu, and a Palmot. So nothing in there. We've got a pair of Paldea Evolved. Let's tear into those. The IRs are the goal. There's our code. And there's our energy. Still no fire energy. Kind of strange. We've got the Honchcrow, Grafii, and Glamora. Mm. One more Paldea Evolved here, and I think that's going to be it for Paldea Evolved. I believe the rest of the chests are all going to have Sword and Shield era packs, so this may actually be the last Scarlet and Violet era pack of this video. Fish coat. Psychic energy. What do we pull? Noibat? Nimble. <laughs> Mimikyu. Nothing from Paldea. Getting a little nervous here. Haven't had any really big hits yet. A few cards around the $4 mark, and uh, that's been it. There is a potential for some really great cards in Silver Tempest. One, two, three, four. Gotta remember the card trick here. They're sticking together. Could it be a textured card in the back? We've got Psychic Energy, Gym Trainer, Curlia, Venomoth, Relicam, Paulucha, Ogidemaru, and a little. We've got a Pikachu. We've got the Radiant Alakazam. That's the textured card. And an Archaeops. Okay. Not any big hits here, but I guess Radiant Alakazam is technically a hit. And our final pack of this tin. Can we save this tin with a massive hit? Nope. I'm going to guess not. Although, it is worth pointing out that the time I pulled the Lugia Alt Art, it was on a white code card. One, two, three, four. And four. What do we get this time? Ogidemaru. So now we're getting into some older tins from 2022 now. This is a late 22. Um, this is a tin featuring origin form Dialga and Palkia around the Legends Arceus games. And it looks like it comes with five booster packs rather than six. But those five booster packs include Lost Origin, Astral Radiance, and maybe even a Fusion Strike. Let's go. For what it's worth, all of these tins were ordered off of the Pokemon Center website, so they should all be legitimate. Um, here are our cards. Here we've got the Cosmo Hollow versions of Hisui and Voltorb, Growlithe, and Sneasel, along with a coin here. And our booster packs this time, they look like they were rolling around a little bit in here. But it looks like we've actually got Fusion, two Astral, and two Silver Tempest. So no Lost Origin in this one. There is your code card for this tin. Get that plastic out of here. And we're back to stickers featuring all of those Origin forms as well as our promo cards there. But instead of including a card binder, which they still do have in here, it looks like they still have the mini folios. They also included... A nifty little notebook if you want a notebook i mean there you go it's the same price as all the other tins but those ones don't include a notebook does that make this tin much better does that one notebook you get replace the one booster pack you don't i don't know you decide so we'll start with the newest packs here the silver tempest packs and work our way backwards and make fusion strike the last one 
There is a shot at hitting that Gengar, which would be a massive hit for this box. But what do we get out of this first Silver Tempest? Wait, code cards, but again, we know that doesn't matter when it comes to Silver Tempest. And hey, we've got a V-Star card, but that's been turned around backwards. It's a little strange. Okay. Litten. And... Yo! Nothing. We're trying to summon some magic cards. We're trying to summon something amazing in these booster packs. We've hit a few $4 cards out of the previous tins, and we get something much bigger here. Psychic Energy. No punny and Helen Flame. So Silver Tempest not showing us the love. I have a feeling it's not going to get much better with Astral Radiance. That has been a set that is just just so hard to pull from it is not a friendly set i am not going to look at the code cards here because the color of the code cards does spoil it with astro radiance but we'll take the four move them to the front water energy thought i saw a shine of rainbow here we have a chance something amazing scyther basculine Voltorb, Radiant Heatran, and a Memo Swine. Nope, I guess the flash I saw was our friend Radiant Heatran here. Okay. Feeling a little sad right now. We've opened over 20 packs, and we have not gotten very much value out of those 20 packs we've opened. Real shame. I don't even think I have any new cards that I can add to my binders. Hopefully that changes here. An Astral Radiance. Give me something magic. Grass Energy. Mighty Enna. Hey, there we go. We've got Silene. I believe that's how you say it. Silene. It's a full art card, number 183. This is nice. And so there it is. We've got our Silene card here. This is actually the best card we've hit so far today. Over $7 in value from this card. So a great pull. It is something I already have, but I'm happy to get some hits. And I'm happy to start getting some value out of these tins. Now we're down to Fusion Strike to try to save the day. I have pulled the Espeon from Fusion Strike, the Espeon VMAX. Can I, ooh, on a black code card. There you are. Can I get the Gengar? That would be crazy right here. Let's go. Darkness Energy, summoning the Gengar. Glizcor, Stantler, Lenoon, Shelder, Eevee, Morpico, Caterpie, Mudkip, here we go. Dreepy. And an Appleton V. It is a hit, but it's Appleton. And while that ends this tin specifically, we definitely didn't get our money back. We got a nice hit here and a, I guess a couple of other cards as well. So you live, you learn, you move on. We got one tin left and it might be a big one. Now I have some history with these Arceus tins. They were some of the first things I opened on this channel. I probably opened half a dozen of them on the channel in front of all you guys. But one thing that I've noticed with these tins is that even when they say Brilliant Stars and Fusion Strike on the front, there's a chance that it has Evolving Skies in it instead. So there's nothing left to do here, but open it up and cross our fingers. There might be an $800 card in this tin. And all right, here it is, the moment of truth. Do we have, uh, we've got Brilliant Stars in here, so. Um, we've got our, our promo cards here. These are the, the starters for Legends. It's Rowlet, Oshawott, and Cyndaquil. But then in here we can see the Brilliant Stars, which means we are not getting Evolving Skies. Here's the code card for you if you want it. The rest of the items inside this tin include a mini folio with Arceus, stickers featuring the starters in Arceus, and then we've also got a notebook featuring Arceus. So... Same as kind of the last one, you get a notebook instead of getting that sixth booster pack. And our boosters here, we still have a potential of getting some great hits, but uh, it's three Fusion Strike and two Brilliant Stars. So Brilliant Stars, there are a handful of cards I need. I believe I'm missing a Charizard, a couple of big ones. So uh, maybe we can still get some amazing cards from this tin, even though we can't get the Moonbrion. There's your code. Lighting energy still no fire. Although Kindler could help us get some fire. Sharon's Care, Throw, Magmar, Star You, Burmy, Sock, Cling Clang, 
and Al Creamy. Thing in here. My heart's breaking a bit. 28 packs, and we've gotten really four decent cards. Everything else has been kind of mm, not so good. I need something magic here. Well, we've got a white code card, so that's not going to help us, but maybe there's still something hiding in here. Rainer Gallery, perhaps. Hey, there's our fire energy. We've been waiting for that. All right, it's got to be a good sign. Fire energy for a Charizard. Let's go. You've got to execute. And a Mimikyu VMAX Trainer Gallery. That's what we're talking about right here. That's beautiful. I think this might be the biggest card we've gotten today. Beautiful card. Great hit. This is uh, more than almost all the other cards we've gotten today combined. Let's keep this wagon train rolling into Fusion Strike. Three packs remain. Can we hit the Gengar to finish this video? That would be amazing. That would just... Oh, it'd blow me away. We have something in here. Oh, I saw a stripe on the edge. Oh, it could be a V. Could be something more. Lightning energy. This is the first lightning energy we've had today. Cross your fingers, folks. We need a big hit here. Power Tablet. Galarian Darmanitan. Phalanx. Buneary. Basculin. Grubbin. Mankey. Rogunk. Yvettel. And a Boltund V. All right. Well, it's a nice hit. It's a big hit. It is not the Gengar, but I'm happy to get anything out of Fusion Strike. Big hit is a relative term. Uh, this isn't even worth as much as the Buddy Buddy Poffin I got before, but it is still a great card. And like I said, I'm happy to get anything out of Fusion Strike. Let's keep it rolling with the next one. Ooh, it's exciting to see that little silver strip along the edge in these Fusion Strike packs. Might be another one in here. Nope. <laughs> White code card. Oh, that's the downside of Fusion Strike. You spoil yourself if you look at the back of the code card. Or Pico. I mean, I could always be wrong, but I don't think I am. No, I'm not. Is the Gengar hiding in the Gengar pack? We'll find out here. There's your code. Grass energy. That's kind of the opposite of fire, but maybe we still get something big out of this. Weird looking Voltorb. Hand Sage. Zera Aura. Hmm. And we end with Disappointment. So we got two cards that were big hits out of this uh, tin here. The Mimikyu is obviously a big one. Bolton, much, much smaller. About $17 worth of cards here. But we got to remember that we also pulled some cards from the other tin. So altogether, not a terrible day of getting hits. Gold cards, full arts, trainer galleries, things like that. But uh, unfortunately, no, we did not make our money back on all of these tins. <sighs> Well, sometimes that's just the way it goes. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. You can drop a comment down below and let me know which of these five tins struck you as being really cool. Have you opened any of these before? I'd love to hear from you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. We're trying to get up to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the summer and you can really help us out there. If you want to help us out in some other ways, you could click on the description down below where you'll find a link to my Streamlabs tip jar. You could drop me a couple bucks there or you could be like these awesome people here and join my Patreon. For a few dollars a month, you can help support the channel in a variety of different ways. All money that gets donated to the channel goes directly back into the channel so that I can make more awesome content for all of you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all later. Rhino, out.